The minimum wage hasn't been raised for a number of years and Minnesotans are struggling. People are working hard, working several jobs, being away from their kids and their family, and it's just not right. We, need, we felt that the wage needed to be increased and it was the right thing to do. Working on this campaign was one of the most important things I've ever done in my life. We spent the summer planning, spent the fall uh, organizing, and you know, Jobs Now and Minnesota 2020 worked to do the research and create the reports and earn the media, and we took it to the streets, and Work in America knocked on the doors. I'm wondering if you'd be willing to help us out today. I'd do that. Really? Awesome. The area Labor Councils and the Regional Labor Federations and take action and Jewish uh, community action hit the phones and drop the flyers in the neighborhoods. From the kickoff to the state fair. In the next few months, we are, as a coalition, going to be working very hard. The real grassroots campaign advocacy work is what made all the difference. Our values in Minnesota have always been hard work should pay. These are the people who are waiting tables. These are the people working in the big box stores. They're in our restaurants where we eat and our stores where we shop. They're keeping our kids safe at daycare and they're helping our children learn at school. They're supporting loved ones in hospitals and they're providing care for our seniors with people with disabilities. These are people, you know, who are busting their butts every day to put food on the table and frankly aren't able to get ahead. Who's got power? Who's got power? What kind of power? You power. I really feel like Minnesota actually told their elected uh, representatives uh, what they wanted and, and, and we got it done that way. So we're looking at roughly 3,000 workers in Austin and Albert Lee who could see a potential raise with the 950. The numbers made a huge, huge difference. We were able to show, for instance, that out of all white workers in Minnesota, 13% would get a raise. 17% of Asian workers, 22% of black workers, meanwhile 29% of Hispanic workers would get a raise. The market has failed workers. The market has failed economics because the minimum wage has not kept pace with inflation. When I knew that this was actually going to happen was when we heard from senators to stop calling and to stop knocking on doors and that they said enough already we hear you we hear you and I have to be honest that that was music to my ears because that meant that we were finally getting through. The wages for workers don't rise unless the workers raise it up themselves. It's time to raise the wage. It's time to raise the wage. This is just a small step um, in a larger picture of things that we need for working families. These are the people who make the holidays happen. We fight, we fight in solidarity. We today say no to poverty wages. Majority of the people who are on minimum wage are women, and particular women of color, and they're single mothers, and they're trying to support their household on a minimum wage, and that's just not possible. Employers are going to start to know that if they want workers to value their jobs, the jobs have to be more valuable. Every day, every day, got to work every day. This should be a day of celebration. The more money that people have in their pockets, the more they spend in their communities, the better off we all are going to be. My proudest moment of the campaign was actually the day the bill was signed. So we're doing what Democrats do best. We're working, reaching out to people who work hard, who need the help, who shouldn't have to have a minimum wage in order to get paid a decent wage, in order to get paid a living wage. People who work as hard as people do should get paid enough money to be able to achieve the American dream. And that's what they want to do. From the governor to the authors to the P everyone who spoke at the bill signing, everyone said, you know, this is just the beginning. This is not like, let, let's not fool ourselves about what this is, this is about. In order for families to have economic security in the state, we have more to do. Always for the labor movement will be to expand the right to organize. Passage of the Women's Economic Security Act, paid sick days for all, securing rights for workers. I shouldn't have to always have to determine whether to take care of my sick child or lose my job. Fully funding the child care assistance program, making sure that you know folks have access to high quality health care. We've got a lot of work to do and you know this victory is wonderful and 
children and families still, uh, still need us to, to do more. I think this is just the beginning. I sure hope so.